When we stopped for gas on the way to the Boy Scout camp, I couldn't wait to rush back to the bus and show the guys what I'd bought in the men's room. In the spirit of the Boy Scout motto, we arrived at camp prepared. I was in fifth grade, and I'd heard about rubbers. I knew where they went. But I was a little sketchy about what they were for. However, I did know that they had to do with adults and sex. So I kept mine off for the whole two weeks of camp, ascribing all sorts of mystical sensations to it. I even passed my life-saving test with it on. And when I would pass a fellow well-dressed camper on the trail, I'd say, hey, got yours on? And they'd go, yeah, got mine on. It feels great. Yeah, it's amazing. So I'm at the airport, waiting for my fiance. All of a sudden, I see him walking towards me. And then I take one look at his shoes, and I panic. Oh my god, there's no way I can marry a man who wears shoes like that. You know, the third time that you fuck somebody, you've got to declare if you're going to have a relationship or not. That playboy after dark fantasy of dating around just isn't true. Here I am at Three Lives Bookstore, walking through the stacks, browsing through the books, and checking out the girls. Why did I always just bury my nose in a book and then go home? The third time you fuck with a man, you're probably having hot sex. And this may well be the relationship. It's fairly easy for two men to agree this is how they want to relate. sexy? Do you like this? How about this? How do I look? Do you like this? Is this hot? Is this sexy? What do you think of this? This is the church. This is the steeple. Open, Open the doors, doors and, and see all, all the people. people. I'm a Protestant minister's son, a preacher's kid, a PK as we call ourselves. There are really only two kinds of PKs, the model son, who obeys all the rules, and the rebel. I was a model son, the polite little boy, the one who always got chosen to play Joseph in the Christmas pageant, the pious teenager who led Bible study. In this setting, there are only two views of sex, sex in marriage or no sex. My ex-wife and I had sex for about six months before we got married, but only on the understanding that we were going to get married. And even when I figured out that I was gay, I carried with me this notion of sex only in a relationship. During this time, I met a man whom I invited home for dinner. We were standing in the kitchen while I fumbled with the preparations for the meal. I hate to cook, and I was really nervous. And suddenly, he turned to me, took me in his arms, and kissed me on the lips. 
I was thunderstruck. I'd been longing for some embrace. This was exactly what I wanted. But it was beyond me to initiate it. I realized we could just have sex. This might be the beginning of a relationship. It might not. But we could just have sex. by creating a neat, Ohio-like package for myself. The foundation of a career, a token boyfriend, the beginnings of a normal adult social life. And then it happened. I was at a wedding. I was sitting on the fountain watching the bride cut the cake. I was wearing a very uncomfortable dress and two high, high-heeled shoes, and I was drunk. Weddings are a joke, I said. As I watched the bride give up her life, it finally hit me. I was wearing the wrong clothes. I was with the wrong person. And I liked brides better than grooms. After 
after you've been sleeping with somebody for a while, there's a psychic umbilical cord that develops between you. The first time that you cheat on them, you realize just how real it is. Things that flowed and felt natural before now feel strained and self-conscious. It's as if somebody had moved your furniture in a way you just can't name. After moving to New York, I dreamt my girlfriend in California had slept with somebody else. I phoned her, and she confirmed that on the night of my dream, she had. Well, predictably, this made me want to marry her. I know there are women that view my current life with irony. Married, committed, and planning babies. But you can feel two things at once. Although I cherish my marriage, I also resent its limitations. What is our true nature? <laughs>